हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आई टीम स्टूडेंट कम्युनिटी चैनल होप यू ऑल वेल एंड योर क्वालिफाइड एग्जाम वेंट वेल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस द आंसर ऑफ मैथ्स वन पेपर ऑफ क्वालिफाइड एग्जाम सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो दिस इज आवर मैथ्स वन पेपर एंड इन दिस पेपर वी हैव टोटल ट्वेल्व क्वेश्चन सो आवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन This is our first question. Consider two quadratic function p x and q x whose x intercepts are shown in figure one. So this is our picture. Here the blue curve is p x and the red curve is q x. And the leading coefficient of both p x and q x are one. And the y-intercepts are minus twenty-seven. So we know the quadratic equation f x. How it look like in x square plus in x plus plus r. So in the question a, b, c are used as variable. So to avoid confusion, I am using m, n, and r. As variable, leading coefficient of both p x and q x are one. What is the leading coefficient? M is the leading coefficient. So the value of m equal to one, and y intercepts are minus twenty seven. How we get the y intercept? If we put x equal to zero in this equation, we get the y intercept. That means we get the value of r, that is minus twenty seven. We also given that the axis of symmetry of q x is x equal to three. Okay, we know the equation of the axis of symmetry of any quadratic equation, which is x equal to minus n by two a. Here we have the value x equal to three, m equal to one. So from these two value we get the value of n, and okay, find the value of n. By two, if n equal to minus six, that means we get the equation of q x. What is the equation? X squared. Value is minus six x minus twenty seven. Now we can see from picture that we get the value of b and c. B and c from the zeros of the equation. This equation. So let's simplify this. X square minus nine x minus plus. Three x minus twenty seven. Okay. Finally, we get x minus nine into x plus three. So zeros of the equation are one is nine, another one is minus three. So we can clearly say that b equal Minus three and c equal to nine. Okay. Now this point is three comma zero. Right. This is the x equal to three line. So this point is three comma zero, and we also see that it is one of the zero of the. Px equation, right? So, or Px, our equation be like x square plus bx plus n x, as we don't know the value of n minus twenty seven. Okay, I did a mistake here. No, it's okay. 
b equal to minus 3 c equal to 9. So the equation of px looks like this. So I have to find the value of n and we know one of the zeros of the equation is 3. So these equation becomes 0 at x equal to 3. Now we put the value of x here. This becomes 9 plus 3n minus 27 equal to 0. So n equal to 18 by 3. It's 6. So what is the equation of Px? It's x square plus 6x minus 27. Now if we simplify this, x square plus 9x minus 3x minus 27. Finally, x plus 9 and x minus 3. So, the two zeros of the equation is one is minus 9 and other one is 3. We know this before from the picture. So, this minus 9, what is this minus 9? This is the value of a. So, a equal to minus 9. Now, our question is enter the value of a plus b plus c. So, we get the value of a plus a, b, c. We have to add those plus b plus c a equals to minus 9, b equals to minus 3 and c equals to 9. So it is become minus 3. This is our answer. And okay, here is the second question. Enter the value where is D? Let's see the picture. The line y equal to D passes through the vertices of Px and Qx. Here is line y equal to D. So this is the vertex of Qx. Now we know the vertex equation that is the axis of symmetry equation x equal to 3 it is said in the question so its x coefficient is 3 sorry its x vertex x value is 3 now we have to find the y value of vertex we know the equation of qx here is the equation if we put the value of x we get the y value of vertex. So if we put the value 3 here, we get 9 minus 18 minus 27. It becomes minus 9 minus 27 minus 36. So y value vertex y value is 36. This is the vertex of Px. 3 comma 36. So what is the vertex of Px? It will become minus 3 comma 36. Then what is the value of D? It's 36. Okay. Next question. 
Our next question is choose the set of correct option. First option the axis of symmetry of PX is x equal to minus 3. Okay. What is the PX equation? This equation is x square plus 6x minus 27. So, what is the equation of axis asymmetry? It's x equal to minus 6 by 2. That means it becomes minus 3. So, this option is correct. Second option. The slopes of both Px and Qx are same at 0, minus 27. What is the equation of a quadratic equation? It's 2mx plus n. So for Px, it becomes 2x plus 6. Now we have to find the slope at 0, comma minus 7. That means at 0, comma minus 27, slope becomes for Px is as x equal to 0, it becomes plus 6. And for Qx, equation is x square minus 6x minus 27 so slope of qx x equal to 0 it becomes minus 6 as here the n value is minus 6 so the statement is the slope of both px and qx are same at 0 comma minus 27 but it's not same for px it's 6 and qx it's minus 6 so the statement is wrong next the slope of px is 6 but the slope of qx is minus 6 at 0 comma minus 27 we calculate it so it's the right statement next the discriminant of both the quadratic equation px equal to 0 and qx equal to 0 are same. Now, what is the discriminant of any quadratic equation? It's, sorry, as we select m in, m in and r as variable, it will be m square. minus 4 in r this is the discriminant of any quadratic equation so for equation of px it will be this is the equation of px m value is 6 that is 36 minus 4 into m is 1 r is minus 26 it becomes 36 minus minus plus 4 into 27 and for q x equal to 0 it becomes here the n value is minus 6 but for n square it becomes 36 minus 4 into 1 into minus 27. So we can see that these and these are same. So this statement is also right. Next question is Rithik wrote 12 mock test. His score in each mock test Mn is represented as by this expression where n represents the mock test number that is n belongs to 1 to 12 he should score 
40 or above to pass the assignment. So based on this information, answer the given sub-question. What is our question? How many times did Rithik score exactly 40? So Rithik score exactly 40. That means in this expression, we have to zero this part. What is this? Minus n square by 1000 n cube minus 15 n square plus 50 n it become 0 when then Rithik score exactly 40. If I simplify it, we get Taking in common, it becomes n square minus 15 n plus 50 equal to 0. Now, it is square minus n in minus 5 n plus 50 equal to 0 minus becomes n minus 10 into n minus 5 now we know so n equal to and n equal to 5. So for these two values of n, Rithik score exactly 40. As for these two values of n, it becomes 0. So the answer is 2. Next question. In total, how many mock tests did Rithik pass? We are given that we should score 40 or above to pass the assignment. That means this expression will be greater than or equal to 40. So now if my if this part becomes greater than or equal to 0, then the MN expression becomes greater than or equal to 40. That means Rithik should pass. So this is minus in square by 1000 in Q minus 15 in square plus 50 in this one becomes greater than equal to 0. That means it becomes n cube by 1000. We simplify it before n minus 10 and n minus 5. This becomes less than equal to 0 if we change the sign. Now n not equal to 0 then n minus 10 into n minus 5 less than equal to 0 that means n becomes greater than equal to 5 and n less than equal to n becomes less than equal to 10. So what is the values of n? n equal to 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So total 6 points. 
many mock tests did Rithik pass? So this is the number of mock test. Total six mock test Rithik will Rithik passed. Answer is six. Okay.